Hello YouTube, it's Chris and I'm back in the Bolt. And I just want to take a couple moments today and have a look at the tires on the Chevy Bolt. So a couple things. One is this is the newest car I've ever owned. So it's the first car that's ever come with nitrogen filled tires. So that's something new for me. Might be new for you as well. And I kind of wanted to explain um, what's going on, why you'd want those tires and uh, if it makes any difference. And then also how the Chevy Bolt EV deals with uh, a tire puncture or a problem, um, the, you know, jack, all the traditional stuff that would be in a, in a car. A lot of newer cars don't, don't come with a, a full size spare. Some come with a, a reduced, uh, tire that's only good for like 80 kilometers on the highway. So what does the Chevy do, uh, Chevy Bolt do, uh, with, uh, tires? So here's the tire on the Chevy Bolt Premier. And, uh, first of all, it's a 17 inch tire. It's really nice. Um, quality painted inserts here and they're really shiny i really like these tires i think they look great on the car and they're really easy to clean i've cleaned them a couple times i've waxed these inserts and it's really easy to work with um, but this is what i noticed right away is it's got the nitrogen sign green cap here on your um, tire so that i thought was a little strange and i wanted to find out what it is so basically um, they're filling the tires with nitrogen instead of just regular air. And that's actually not that big a deal. What I've learned, some research is that regular air is 80% nitrogen anyway. So even if you're old fashioned car from the fifties, you still have nitrogen in your tires up to 80%. So the difference here is uh, by filling these tires 100% with nitrogen, you don't have any of the other, you don't have oxygen and you don't have any water, which you would have from normal air. So the problems with um, water is it can corrode your rim. So if you've ever taken a wire brush to a motorcycle rim or something, you know what I'm talking about. Change tires, you usually end up uh, with a wire brush or something just uh, uh, shaking off rust and things like that. Um, also, if you get wire, water in your tires, it can make them hard to balance sometimes um, because the water is swishing around inside the rim. Um, some air compressors, of course, when they're filling your uh, tires with water, air there's water coming out of the compressor that's how air water would get inside your tire in the first place uh, and then air of course you know how uh, it can fluctuate if the car gets really hot the tires get really hot the pressure will go up and if the tires get really cool the pressure can go down that's why in the winter a lot uh, you'll see that your tire pressure mount sorry your tire pressure monitoring system can turn a light on your dash sometime because the tire pressure uh, in your tires has went down and light comes on. It's really frustrating. You end up having to, you know, check your tires all the time or you go to the dealer and say, Hey, I think my sensor's broken. And then you have to wait a while for the tires to run for the light to go off. So I think this is what they're doing with new cars. They, they don't like that any more than you do. So I think they're putting nitrogen in the tires just to stop people from seeing that, um, tire, uh, TPS, tire pressure monitoring system light come on and off their dash so much. I don't necessarily think they're filling your tires because it's a Formula One car and it makes you corner better, uh, all those other things. I think the idea here is just that it keeps constant, maintains the pressure in the tires um, more stable and therefore you're probably going to possibly get better gas mileage because you're not, uh, your tires aren't underinflated and your handling is going to be consistent because they're not overinflating uh, when they get hotter. I think that's the goal anyway. So uh, also these are special tires on the Chevy Bolt that are self-sealing. So the idea he here, and hopefully this doesn't happen to me, but the idea is that if you run over a nail, uh, the tire will self-seal itself and uh, you can just keep going. So that's uh, again a first for me. I'd like to see if that really happens. Um, but if it does, fantastic. Uh, so then one other question is if that happened and you lost some pressure, say your tire pressure monitoring system light came on because you lost some air, can you just go to a gas station and fill it up with air? Uh, are you doing any damage? Of course not. Like I say, every tire, uh, that's there already ha that is just a normal tire. These are, there's nothing special about this. It's just a regular tire. So, um, you're just going to have some air in your, your tire and you're sort of defeating the purpose that I talked about earlier by having hundred percent. Uh, nitrogen. So then what happens? You take it to the Chevy dealership. They can um, 
remove, they can purge all the air out of your tire and fill it again with nitrogen uh, next time you're in for service or something. So I think that's a big deal. So let's go around to the back of the car now and uh, have a look at what Chevy would do uh, if you did get a flat tire. What's included with the car? So just to make this easier, I've removed all the um, uh, carpet and everything, just so you guys could have a look at what's actually in the car. A lot of times when they review these cars online, all this stuff has been removed from the dealer or whoever lent the uh, reviewer the car, probably so it doesn't go missing. So a couple things here. One is this is just your 15 amp charger that comes with the car. And um, the idea with this is, you know, you, you don't have a, maybe everywhere you go doesn't have a level two charger. Maybe you're spending the night at friend's house and you want to get a what they call a trickle charge. You can use this to charge up your car. Again, they're saying that it's like 16 hours from empty till full. But of course, um, you're never really empty anyway. So uh, like I say, you may plug this in overnight and in the morning have a full charge and you're good to go. So um, uh, th that charger is in there. I haven't used it yet. So I can tell you guys what it's like once I actually take it apart. Also in here, this looks like a tow ring, doesn't it? So if you ever had to have your car towed, I think this is just to uh, lock it down so that it uh, um, doesn't move around while it's being towed. Okay, here's the uh, tire pressure stuff. So you notice there's no tire in here at all. So if you get a flat, what this is, is the goop. And the goop, you just uh, wind this into your tire and release the the goo that's in here and this could self seal something that the tire doesn't do. Now, once you do this, I think that tire is garbage. So you have to replace the tire. So this would be like a, a last ditch attempt to uh, temporarily seal your tire, get to where you're going, replace the tire and you're good to go. So that's in there. And then here is the pump. And I tried this out earlier. Works really easy. The only thing is it's, um, it's got the cigarette lighter 12 volt adapter. So you have to do this from inside the car. There's only one inside the car and the car has to be on to make it come on. So it's got a really long cord. You'd sit this in the car, turn it on, plug it into your 12 volt adapter, and then it will uh, pump up your tires. Okay, so of course there's no nitrogen involved with this. You're just pumping air into your tires, but uh, that would uh, get you going. So I think that these two work together to uh, help you, you know, when you get a flat tire. So hopefully that's uh, to some value and uh, is interesting, interesting to you guys. Okay, talk to you later. Thanks for viewing. Bye. Oh, so while we're here, I just put all the stuff back together. Um, and I just want to show you what it looks like because I've seen some reviewers struggle with this a little bit. So this is obviously the false floor. And the idea with this is that when you lay your back seats down, you can have a, a flat loading surface that works well. Um, that can drop in there like that and reveal your, your second space, which again, you could hide briefcase, anything like that, that you want to keep out of the way. And then underneath is the stuff I was just showing you guys earlier. Uh, this can go like that, or if you want the entire space, it can drop right down onto the floor. So I heard some guys talking on the internet, like, what are you supposed to do? Take this out, leave in your garage. I don't think you have to. I think you can do that. You can do that. Uh, here's this screen and the screen very easily just comes out. Of course, if you don't want it on there, if you have bigger items, I think that's it. Thanks. Bye.